Hello. 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 Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome. Live from. Live from. Live from. Hello, comrades. But we're interested in America. Why, Ed? Because when America sneezes, we get wet. Well, we catch a cold. We I catch suppose. a cold. <laughs> so, now, I have the privilege of being making contact with four of my friends in the United States. I wanted to come straight up with a good friend of mine, Ron Bacon. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Hello, Pastor Jamie. Bishop. I'm doing good, man. How you doing? Make a call right now to Texas. How are you, Pastor Tim? Oh, I'm doing good, man. I just pulled my hat out for tonight because I know Texas is going to kick from behind. We're going to link in right now with Pastor Tom Moffat. Good. Sean, how you doing? i got Pastor Eddie Mayastas with us. How are you? Well, I mean, we just had a feast, Ed. Yeah. We? Woo, woo. So many uh, people. We went for five Americans. This yeah, This is wow. a new record for new us, New record, Ed. yeah. A woo. new record. <laughs> And if we count Erica, we have six. Yes. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Today at Dunamis. It's not Wednesday, it's Sunday. Hey, Sean. So is it today at Dunamis or tonight at Dunamis? It's it's a, uh, a good 6 p.m. at Dunamis. Good 6 p.m. <laughs> a, good, a good 6 p.m. A good 6 p.m. <laughs> at Dunamis. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I am, I am, I've taken certain precautions for my safety with our host, Sean, after a certain event that it happened on Sunday. You want gossip? Would you like some gossip? I'll give you some gossip. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm getting the Pfizer injection on Monday. <gasps> <laughs> you better not listen to me preach anymore after that because the anointing was gone. Don't come in for a spoon or a fork because it'll go flying to my head and I'll be a mag. Do you actually have a, uh, a spoon here? So Sean, would you uh, be able to hold this up to your forehead? Just uh, so we can uh, see what happens. Ready? Wait, wait. Oh. Well, welcome to Erica's mom. Woo! Hello, Dr. Suzanne. Hey. Welcome, how welcome. Are you? Welcome. Yes, very good. Yes. Very good. So, Greetings from Oklahoma. Yes. Don't you say that again. Greetings from Oklahoma. See, I like that. Yes. Do you do a draw much. like Texas? Yes, we do. Do, do a draw. draw. Do you give me your best draw. <laughs> Oh, uh, it'll come out. It'll I, come out. I'll, I'll do mine. Go. Howdy, y'all. Y'all come on back now. Yeah. Y'all, so, yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah, come that's here. Good. That's, that's right. good. That's good. Yeah, I live come in Texas, on back now, y'all. Y'all yeah. come on back now. Y'all come back A little back bit now. of that in Beverly Hillbillies, you know what I mean, comes in well. <laughs> or I'm fixing to. I'm, I'm fixing yeah. to. Yeah. I'm fixing to? Yeah, I'm fixing to be on this podcast here. That's good. Do you recognize this picture? I oh, can't see the picture. Oh, that's not even it. <laughs> it's not that's it. Not that's, it. That's, oh my that's goodness! One in LA, there's a place called La. Oh, oh good thing La she can't see it. Oh. Dental center. We got the wrong one. Eric, you got to find that's me California. the right one. La that's Vern, California. That's California. That's California. Oh, oh man, <laughs> I blew it. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. <laughs> okay. But it's probably great. I yeah. love that. Oh, this is Erica's AI voice. The Bible is a sacred text in Christianity consisting of yes. a collection of religious writings that are considered by believers to be inspired by oh, God. Yes. That's pretty right. good, it right? That's very good. That's a pretty that good Erica voice. They must do AI in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. No. So you've got two terminologies with this. You've got virtual reality, VR, and AR, augmented reality. So here is a photo of how what it looks like in the product. And if I actually did a, uh, a mock-up of what this would look like on our faces. Okay, i got to see this. Here is Sean. <laughs> Erica. Oh. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Nice. And a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I got my glasses on so, a photo. You know when they say you shouldn't walk around or drive your car with your smartphone out? <laughs> well, uh, let's say people have been starting to do this and it's been very uh, worrying soon. So check this out. This is a montage of people using the Apple he, Vision he's Pro. He's in the gym? He's in the gym, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Working out. <laughs> Check that out. So what's he, is he watching a video or? He could be watching a video. He could be reading emails. Oh, look at be, this guy on the, yeah. um, general, uh, walk in the street. He looks like one of those minions, you know, that minion <laughs> thing. Okay. This is crazy. So this guy is using his augmented reality headset while in a Tesla that's on autopilot. So the car's driving itself and he's got the headset on. Isn't that illegal? Uh, <laughs> You think so? Well, he gets uh, chased oh, by the, the cops. cops are there. Yeah, oh, the cops show up. Oh, oh that's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken reviews from both Barbie and Oppenheimer, okay. and you guys are going to have to guess where these reviews are for what movie. So, just a warning. You never see the bombs drop. Imagine a war movie with no war footage. Instead, you get a lot of politicians arguing for three hours. <laughs> oh, <laughs> One star. So, what, what do you guys think? Oh. Oppenheimer. Yep. Did I? And I mean, it's pretty obvious. And yep, Office of Oppenheimer. Never got to see it. They took my money. Tickets didn't even work. Work. The feeder said to contact Fandango, but Fandango said that since the movie already started, they couldn't do anything about it. That's so very helpful. 
<laughs> okay. So this guy just put it All in right. a plate. Andrew Hughes, he's in Michigan. Yeah. And uh, he is uh, Welsh. Of course, when he'd come to this church, we'd joke around a him. And when we come, when I went to his church, Sandra, in Michigan, yeah. he'd joke around. Yeah. Then he said to me, oh, he says, can you just tell the church when he's joking? Because they really think I'm cruel to you. <laughs> so I said, sure. So I got up and I said, I just want you to know, church, that your pastor really is cruel to me. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> we got a full good. house. We got a it's, full house today. We have a full house. Ed's being pushed over to the other side of the room. When Ed doesn't wear shoes and he's sitting this close, it makes it very difficult for me. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that, that's telephone fun. box. That's incredible. That's fun. And there's there, there is a secret surprise in the telephone box. So hmm. do we do a surprise? <laughs> oh, that's no longer a surprise. Oh, dude, you're not oh, supposed no. to show that. Oh, no, he's not invited. <laughs> you know, oh, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I think it's wonderful so for fun. the ladies. Yeah, so, yeah. Got, got, oh, wait, what? Hey. Wait, what's going Sandra, on here? get off the phone. Sandra, Sandra. we're on the podcast. <laughs> Rock sees a movie star. 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 Rock Hollywood <laughs> yeah. from the Barbie movie. <laughs> yeah. Like this work. You know how people read things. So let me ask you. <laughs> yes. I had a couple of good people. Yes. Contact my wife or whatever else. Yes. Saying, is Pastor Sean got a devil cake? What? What? Oh. <laughs> 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 I see, I see. <laughs> oh, wasn't that some good memories? Yes. That was beautiful. That was great. Yes, welcome to episode 100 of Today at Dunamis. It's so good to see y'all and so good to see you, Sean. How you doing? What'd you think of that little uh, step back in time, the memories? Well, I, you know, the devil shirt <laughs> is still on me, so I have it, two of them, you know what I mean? It always makes me think people are going to think it's not a Red Bull, but rather... <laughs> A devil. <laughs> so my the sister really put a thing on me. So, uh, <laughs> but anyhow, I should have worn it today. It's wonderful to have this. the beautiful Erica Woo! with us. Thank you. It's been a while. We couldn't celebrate this program without hijacking her and bringing her yes, back in. Yes. And it was great seeing your mum on there. That was yeah. that was yeah. beautiful memory. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've got good memories. Yeah, it was a good highlight. Since we've seen you, you had a baby. Yes, another mm. one. Yep. Yeah. Judah. Yep. Mm. Seven months old. Yes. Oh my goodness. Thanks. He's got those big eyes. I like his eyes. Yeah, very you big know eyes. What I mean? And of course, mm-hmm. my favorite little guy. Cruz just Cruise. had a birthday. Yes, he just That's turned it. three. Three years old. Let's go. Okay, you got to tell him he's not allowed to get older. Got to oh. keep him there for a while. <laughs> so he's good. At least a year. Does he help out with Judah? Yeah. Uh, like last week, I think I was doing dinner and then I needed to get him more food. So I got up and then he sat down in my seat and started feeding Judah with a spoon. Oh, I was like, oh that's beautiful. So oh, yeah. Good. That is good. That is good. Yeah. Is it harder with two? Yeah, it's really. Last week was really hard. Judah is not a pleasant teether, and oh. he's getting like five teeth, and so it's Whoa. hectic. But but actually, Andres just made the comment yesterday. He's like, I feel like I finally found my two feet with two kids. So it's finally yeah hitting our stride. Oh, wow. I guess I don't know how just I handles three, but yeah, yeah. Can't imagine. <laughs> he says it's easier. So. For free what? With three kids, it's easier. Well, I think what, that one? what happens is that you're not as flustered as you would be with one. Oh. Do you yeah. find that you're not as flustered? Yeah, and his he has older kids too, so they they have more independence as well. But it's like when they have the first one, Ed. It's like you can't touch this child unless you've had the whooping cough injection. Ah, or anything yes, else. Yes, yes, but yes, tell yeah. me, have the third one? Is third one? Just, you go, hey, just, just grab the kid, put him <laughs> over there. So, <laughs> that's all right. That's uh, true. Way less stress. Uh, well, Sean, this is episode one hundred. One hundred. It is, and. You know, Sean, there's something missing from this set. There's something missing that I think we should have had maybe a little bit ago, but I thought it's episode 100. Oh, so so I thought I'd present you a, cer- okay. a certain surprise. So, Erica, would you be able to... Uh, yes, that's right. It's a brekkie wrap. I brekkie brought you a brekkie wrap. wrap. No, nah, <laughs> nah, not a brekkie wrap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! No, no. Yes! A bubble head! No, oh. take note of the gold oh. Donald Trump. Look at the shoes. Look at his shoes. <laughs> Look at his shoes. <laughs> Look at his shoes. Uh, yes. Got to show the shoes. It, oh. There it is. There it is. I got oh, the... That oh, is, oh, my God. That's the... That is the best. That's, oh, yes. man. Donald yeah. Trump shoes. Yeah. For Pastor I love Sean. We've got to put them up here. The three of us. Oh, I love it. Our Mount Rushmore is complete. When, yes. when did you do this? Oh, about six weeks ago. Yes. Oh, it took about oh, six that's weeks. That's very good. That's secretly why this episode uh, 100 has been a little bit slow delayed. to come. Yes. Delayed. I was waiting oh, for this bobblehead. Let's, yes. let's put it in here together. <laughs> it is the tea. Oh, well, you know what? You couldn't have got me a better gift. 
what a surprise. <laughs> I mean, that is just. <laughs> I wish so I could. Good. Yeah, that is just fantastic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I should move them further up for the camera yeah. to see. Yeah. Yes. Look your at bubble, my head bubble as I go. So good. Yeah. Yeah. The other. Uh, Erica, your hair is different back yeah, then. It's been you know what I mean? <laughs> so the problem is we frizzy. age. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that Look is the that. best. The trio. The trio. Woo. Welcome so back. <laughs> so good. Except, Ed, I look taller than you. Yep. Mm. Yeah. And I don't know. Yeah. Man, have I got a big head. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the most stylish one here is Erica. Oh, definitely. Okay. Erica, do you remember when you used to dress like that? Yeah, right. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <I> yeah. <laughs> In another life, maybe. Yeah. Before two kids? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I love the Donald Trump shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Put a, show it again there. <laughs> yeah, it's up. <laughs> Go back to the to shot on me yeah, there. Look at that. There look at it did the Donald Trump shoes. I'm glad you recognize that instantly. Yeah, that is that is the best thing. You did very good. Very yes. good. Yes. Woo. Oh Nailed yeah, it. that is very good. You did good. <laughs> <laughs> the free. <laughs> oh, you made my day. So good. Oh, I saw that. I saw Erica pulling up. They said, "Oh, they got me a breaky wrap." I don't want <laughs> a breaky wrap. I was starting to salivate. Yeah. You know what I mean? They go like, "Hang on a minute, that's not a breaky wrap." There, <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. The three of us are on yeah. there together. Yeah, yeah. look at that. Beautiful. The Trump shoes. That's the best thing. <laughs> And, and barefoot, yeah. yes. Yeah. I was trying uh, to see if the American flag was on the back, but oh that's no, okay. Nah, yeah. nah. Uh, yeah. Very good. Nice little show. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Ed. I like it. Very good. Very good. Uh, All, right, all right, right, my brother. My right. brother. Yes. Okay. What do we have? Well, there's a big game last night. There was yes. a big game. So uh, Queensland against New South Wales is the first of three. Oh, oh, Erica, oh, show Erica's oh. socks. Oh, look yeah, at she's that. got on some go. her own socks, bro. Yep. Uh, You're welcome. Queensland, Queensland socks. Yep. 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 So, uh, big game. Yes. Uh, did you watch the game, Ed? <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the game, Sean? Did you well, hang it? on. Oh, Erica, did oh. you watch the game? I think I went to sleep before kickoff <laughs> last night. No joke. I was so tired. Oh, man. Well, did, did you watch you? it, Sean? Did you, did you watch the game? No. Oh. So, uh, but <laughs> but at one o'clock this morning, yes. I got up, yes, and because uh, I do the newspaper online, and yes. I had looked to see who won, and I saw it was thirty eight ten that we yes. won it. So a little bit of controversy, yeah. Um, in the seventh minute, yes, uh, you have the picture there, yeah. Um, Walsh was knocked out cold. Whoa. Yes, so it was a shoulder to the head, and that, that and that's that was a brutal clip. I didn't realize how intense. Like you can hear the impact, the slap. Wow. That reminded me of something like, look, I know it's fake, WWE, mm. but occasionally what they'll Don't do is tell to make those guys it's when, fake. When uh, when they do impacts, occasionally they'll like slap their legs yes. to make it seem more like impactful. Switch in music, yeah, switch in music, Shawn oh. Michaels, yep. but. Like, you can hear that. You hear the impact yeah. in that clip. That is wild. Mm. I couldn't believe it when I first saw that. That is yeah, rough. It, what makes it hard under something like that is that we forget the compassion for the situation and we get mm. more involved about who I support. So yeah. in the Queensland papers, it's like those Mongol New South Wales taking out our man. And then in the New South Wales one, oh, it should only be in a sin bin. shouldn't have been this other one here. Mm. Uh, but the situation is it's dangerous. Yes. Oh, we very. have people today from rugby league who are suffering from head trauma. Yes, exactly. Oh, yes, concussions um, exactly. and all that, yeah. Yeah, well, they've got permanent trauma. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, Demet- Wally Lewis has got brain injuries mm. and so many people. Uh, which, and there's many people we could talk about who's got, you know, mm. Mario Fennec is just – Deteriorated so much, yeah. With head knocks, um, but the, the situation is it's. Um, look, do I think it was intentional? No, I think it was intentional to take uh, the, the guy out, yeah. because he's a key player, ah. but not to cause severe Injury. trauma. Yeah, absolutely, mm. it, was the guy falling? Probably sliding down. Yes, yeah. but the thing is, the guy should have been going for the hips, yes, not for the uh, front. And this yeah. is shoulder trust. so it doesn't matter. So he's. He'll take an early plea. He'll take a plea, which is four weeks. If he if he contests, it'll be five weeks. Mm. So he's out. Does he need to go weeks. to trial for that tackle? What happens is it goes to the uh, NRL judiciary. Oh wow! And oh. straight away, it's a four week suspension. Wow! If he contests it and loses it, then it's a five week suspension. So wow. as far as I know, he's already just accepted yeah, the yeah. four week suspension. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So I mean, look, the, the guy's not out there to kill. I mean, that's the problem with the energy of a game. Yes. Mm. 
I think that the overstimulation of excitement, and uh, that's why I stopped playing rugby league. I used to play rugby league. Oh. Well, when you were a teenager? Yeah, I used to play for Logan, of oh. course. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Say no more. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's just that um, just we would never be obedient to wear our uniform oh. Richard High. And so if you belong to a club, you'd wear your club socks. So Oh yeah. yeah. Skills couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so I there. <laughs> but then later on I got saved, I was on church staff. Yes. And the church wanted to do a Christian rugby league. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> and they asked me to be a part of it. Yes. So I said, look, I gave up rugby league because I take it too personal. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it's meant to be touch. Yeah. But the touch has got into thumps, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, and to hits, you yeah, know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> <laughs> so they asked me, a friend who's there called David McLoon, and the guy who was coaching was a guy called Jerry Exton back then. Mm. And so I came out for the practice. Yeah. Well, they asked me to join the team. And I realized I was getting too um, heavy-handed, so I said, "No, because I'm supposed to be a Christian. Yeah, I'm yeah. going <laughs> to cause injury." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so, That's fair. yeah, because I had broken a couple of guys' bones in games at school at Woodridge. Yeah, broke his collarbone. Yeah. That. yeah I mean, so, because just go too, take it too personal. Yeah, too personal. Yeah, yeah. I, ca- I can't do the tag thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Can't do touch. Can't do <laughs> touch. Come on. Can't do touch. So. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's aggressive game. Yeah, very. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's it's a tragedy. Thank goodness he's okay. But yes. I worry about how many head knocks this guy can take oh, yeah. in his career. You know, because like mm. he only had his jaw broken, you know, not so long ago, and now oh, with his head, goodness. how many hits do you take before you're going to have damage when you're fifty or sixty? Oh yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I mean, mm. you know, in America, you have got American football, oh, the and NFL. we know that they're the ones who reveal to us the trouble. So over here, we found in the AFL. Yes. AFL is what we call aerial ping pong, okay? <laughs> and uh, we know uh, with rugby league and probably with uh, union. So with your boys, would you let them play? Look, I I find it really hard. I, I This is a very challenging topic for me, including because like some of our aunts and uncles are like, oh, the boys should get into boxing and all this stuff. Oh. And I'm like... I don't know if I can cope. Like, mm. it, there's so much risk. And in boxing, I mean, you know what happened to Muhammad Ali? And that was for oh, so many hits in the head. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, but the thing that I find difficult is like, you as a parent, obviously, you have say because you're the legal guardian. But then at what point do they get to have input and choices too? Like, mm. yeah, I don't know. I find it really hard. Thankfully, I don't have to make that decision right well, now. When they don't live at home. Okay. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said Josiah. No, I steered Josiah to two sports, soccer, yes, um, or oh, yeah, soccer. I think they call it football here now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but soccer, as they say in America, yeah. yes, and uh, gym, gym, yes. oh, gym, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yeah, and weight training. Ah, yes, mm. yes. So I took Josiah in was about fourteen, Absolutely. fifteen, yeah. That's so in good. weight training, yeah, uh, because. Um, and, and in actual fact, the weight training helped them in soccer. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, definitely. for absolutely. the upper oh, yeah. body, because they charge, so yes. build his upper body, and legs. Yes. And he became just a phenomenal midfielder where he could just lob that ball perfectly mm. at the feet of the strikers. Yeah. And uh, so, he, you know, he made it in the Christian League. Okay, he was in the districts and won that. He was in the state, won that. And he was selected for the Australian under-17s. Uh and then uh, he got, uh, what's the word, scouted for a semi pro league. Mm. That's the Queensland Cup. Yep. Where they travel around for, it was the Go Coast, um, United Go Coast team then. Wow. And uh, so they'd play here, and then the next one was to play for the national team. Yeah. Wow. But he chose not to follow through on that. Mm. So, um, you know, it, it's hardly. And, and so weights in the area. So, and mm. the other thing is, and the reason why I had Josiah in the Christian league. And this is going to be controversial. Oh, am I controversial? Mm, sometimes, but I <laughs> like your stance on this. I do. Well, I'm I controversial. <laughs> okay. See, people think I don't re- relate to having kids anymore, but I've had him. Yeah, you contro- had him. You're controversial, but in, in general, I usually yeah. land on the same side as you. Yeah. So. Well, that's well, why I, I put him in the. <laughs> oh, I sorry, put him in the Christian league. Yeah. yeah. So they didn't conflict with church. Yeah, right? that's it. That's yeah. good. And I know right now is rugby season, rugby mm. league, because parents Lots and kids them. aren't in church. Exactly. And so they're not church. <laughs> yeah. And I'm telling you that I would prefer my kid in church than playing 
football or soccer on the Sunday. Yeah, yeah. And they start him off young, go, oh, yeah, but, you know, he's in the under eight to nine, so they don't play on Sunday. Yeah, but they get you so connected yep. that eventually it will be on the Sunday. Yeah. I'd be curious, because in the States, from my understanding, there's not sports on Sundays from when I was growing up, but it could have changed since then. Yeah. But they very much used to honor Well, Pro League is. And Wednesday. Well, yeah. NFL. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not college. Professional. Yeah. Not college. Yeah. And, uh, and, I mean, college is more popular than the um, Pro League, okay? Mm. Absolutely. And obviously not school. And the, 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 the weeks is only like 10, 12 weeks they play. Right. Mm. Over here, it's several months. Yes. Yeah. Right? yeah it's like compare. three months, I think. Yeah. So it's a whole lot longer. Yeah. Um, but I prefer them in the area. Then, of course, my son would say, well, you know, Dad, I, you know, this is what he said when we finished. Oh, but how do you know, you know, how would it have been in the FIFA, you know, the other one? Because they all say, oh, Christian League and else. I said, but you know what? If God has got you, then God's got you. You know, think of um, Eric Little, uh, Chariots of Fire. Yes. Mm. And how he said, I won't compete on the Lord's Day. Yeah. yeah. And it was his race. Yeah. yeah. And he said, no, but he's going to the 800 meters, I think it was, which he's never done. Mm. Mm. Yet he won gold. Yeah. yeah. I think it was the 1936 Olympics in France, I, I think it up. was. I think 1936. Uh, and, and, and the fact of the matter is he won in France mm. uh, the gold medal and then went on to be a missionary. But, but see, we look at now, not long term. Yes. And, and what are you impl- – so what you're saying is your church is okay, but it's not as important as. Mm. Yeah. And okay, so, was, so he won the 400 meter and 400. broke the world record in the process during the Paris 1924 Olympic oh Games. Oh boy, I was off, wasn't I? 1924. Okay. So was the close. 1924 Olympics. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, if, if you've never seen that movie, you it's should brilliant. see it. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. One, so, that's uh, a brilliant yeah. movie. Yeah. So I think it's called The Flying Scotsman is the is the uh, book, which oh. is very good, The Flying Scotsman. And, uh, you know, and he, he took a stand. And there is a stand for our faith. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know you you got to choose. Mm. Yes, you know you got to choose. Now I know that we have people in our church who are mm. professional rugby league players, and, and that's great. You know yeah. whatever. Okay, but the fact of the matter is, you have to choose where you are and what you do. So mm. that that's your call. And then Josiah um, when it was going into rugby league, then yeah, and so. It was the Canberra Raiders feeder group here, mm. and so he got selected to be in their. Um, Junior, younger ones that feed in. Wow, he's going to have to be here or go, go to Canberra. Yeah, wow. and uh, and I said, well, you know, you're 18, 19. You you do what God's called you to do. I see. There came that point, Erica, when he turned eighteen. He was, and I said, you're a man now. You pick. If you yeah. want to be in this professional league and play on Sundays, that's fine. I'm not going to be against you. Yeah, but I won't be there. Yeah, mm. yeah. I said, mm. but I won't be against you. Yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, the same thing happens. But when when he, um, it's so funny because he felt God tell him not to do the um, soccer, and then a year or so later he wanted to do rugby league. And I thought we were, I thought we already dealt with this, but oh no, he wanted. There was something in his side that just wanted to see. I think if he could be measured up or accepted, mm. you know, what I mean, in the area. And uh, so so what happened is um, when he came along up there. So uh, when he came along up there in, in the field and he played rugby league, um, he's just started to have liking Jacinta. Mm. Mm. So that I, they weren't official, or maybe yeah. they're just going out with the area. And I said to him when he got through, he got accepted, and they had a week off before they signed the contract. I said, bro, if you're going to do this, break up with Jacinta. Absolutely. Mm. I said, because yeah. how will it work if you're in Canberra? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And da da da. So he says, I'm going to take a week off and to think about it. Yeah. So I said, uh, what are you going to do in the week off? He says, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going away after Cinta's family on the Sunshine Coast. <laughs> and then Cinta says, what do you think is going to happen? I said, it's all over. Yeah. <laughs> it's all over. Of course. Between Jacinta, <laughs> her aunties a, and all that, yeah. it's, it's all over. It was a quick. <laughs> and of course, he came back and says, Dad. I said, so I would always come into my room about 10.30 at night <laughs> to want to have a talk. <laughs> Did you do that to your parent, mum? and parent? Late no. Yeah. He'd come in <laughs> I and go, I hear this, I, I hear this, not go, uh, yes, mate. He says, can we talk? I go, yes, mate. <laughs> he goes, are you awake? <laughs> and now, now I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't. You know what I mean? And then he'd say, I just feel God saying I'm not to do it. 
Mm. I said, okay. So can you ring the coach? I go, no, mate. So you're I said, an adult now. <laughs> you're an adult now. You know, so you ring the coach. <laughs> yeah. You had to do it twice. Then he went into bodybuilding. I, uh, I was going to ask when that was because I couldn't remember in I, the timeline. I lines. hated the bodybuilding. <laughs> I said, brother, when you do that bodybuilding, now he was clean. Yes. You yeah. have to the be presented oh. in such a way. Yeah. Mm. That you'll regret it. Yeah. <laughs> the photos on the well, wall. Photos. The gym. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forget about the photo on the gym. Yes. It's the photo of the show. Yeah. Yes. The show you photos. Know what I mean? yeah. And yeah. I said, you're going to regret it. Yeah. I said, because there will be Does people. he regret it? Uh, if he did, he doesn't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'd what I mean? I'm curious. Yeah. But, uh, but I tell you what's going to happen is when his later. son <laughs> tells him, dad, you know what I mean? <laughs> dad, yeah. you know. Yeah. Says when your son does it, then that's what happens. <laughs> that's but, fair. Uh, yeah, so um, we tried. We we signed Cruz up for soccer, soccer Joey's. Oh, nice, at nice daycare. But then he always slept through it because it was right <laughs> after nap time. So we're like, all right, we'll have to do it in the later term when he doesn't sleep as long. Yeah. But he is in swimming and oh, officially oh, so had his go. first. Let's go. Only the kids with the. With the teacher this week, so oh, that's, the that's big cool. kid, the big boy class. This Does week. he like it? Yeah, he's he does enjoy it. I think. Yeah. I, I, like I remember Zion went to the school um, swimming thing. Oh, yep. And uh, his parents said, "What do you think?" He says, "I hated it." Oh, because oh. they have like the one. <laughs> no, because he's used day. to being at our pool. Yes, yes. And we uh, we do, it, but we're having fun. Yes. yes. And he just wants to do bombs and yes. dives and do areas, but, but like he strict. was there to learn. I mean, I might. <laughs> My philosophy is teach them how not to drown. Yeah. Yes. But yes. I can't teach them the style. Yeah. yeah you know? Yeah, yeah. And so he was going to school. So he's like, it wasn't fun. Yeah. They're, they're all strict and we have to do this. And they go, yeah, well, it's different from Poppy's yeah. place, mate. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah. that's the way it goes. But yes. yeah, I mean, raising up kids, I mean, you know, I know people say, like, there's never an easy era of time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's always going to be that struggle. Like, mm. what do I do? It? How do I go? And, and you have to be, um, you know, you oh. you have to work out yourself how you're going to manage it because mm. while they are under your care, you're responsible. Absolutely. Yeah. You're the steward. Yeah. I'm not only a steward of my money. I'm a steward of my marriage. I'm a steward of my kids. And, you know, they'll come – I mean, they might get to the age of 60, 70, says, well, I don't want to be in church. I'm going to go play. Well, that's what happens. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You just yeah. raise them and pray God puts it there. Yeah. But while they're still in that area, then you speak into the life. You find them a sport that can be done. And, you know, Josiah, I mean, like, soccer is probably more popular now than it was. Mm. Mm. I would say You know so. what I mean? Yeah. And it's great, especially, like, you know, in America, a soccer ranks right up there as one of the most popular games, and parents go towards it because of the damage. Uh, yeah, but yeah. so for me – Absolutely. Whether it be in the rugby league or anything else or mm. union, and I know I've got a lot of families from Pacific areas, which is wonderful, and I love them so dearly, but very strong in that sport. But he, here's the thing is God. Yeah. 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 The second thing is head injuries. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. serious. Yeah, no, I mean, true. like, yeah, that's true. like, you know, this. If you go read some of the reports now on these head injuries. Oh, I see them. They're bad, especially in the NFL. I mean, you have a look oh. at that rugby league game. How many wore soft helmets? Oh, true. Yeah, Not I've been saying this. Oh, you'd yeah, be lucky many, yeah. if there was yeah. two. Yeah. Mm. See, that's because, I mean, they used to play NFL with no helmets, and they made it, oh, it, it, yeah. it mandatory many, many, many years ago. Yeah, yeah. But they used to have this leather. Do you remember they had just leather? Oh, yeah, the leather caps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and that's all our ones are like, really. I mean, but, I mean, like, we, we got to protect them. So, I mean, it's a tough call. And yeah. I don't envy – and I'm not judging any parent because they said, well, we're doing it. That's fine. Do what you want. Like, yeah. But we're doing the FIFA soccer because we want it more professional. You know what? My summer – I've been going to – this is the second year I've been going to see my grandson play soccer. Wow. Now, um, they have absolutely no idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought the second year they'd have more idea. They still don't have much idea, okay? No. <laughs> but they tell me next year they start playing other teams, and I'm sure it develops. Yeah, wow. yeah. Like, but the the fact that the matter is is that you know they're having sports, they're interacting, and it's on the Saturday, Team Saturday, yeah. Uh, yeah. Saturday morning, eight o'clock they train, eight fifteen is kickoff. You know what I mean? Mm. And it's just the younger ones playing yeah. half fields. But the thing is they're out there and that's what's beautiful about it. So, yes. you know, seeing – Deshaun didn't play until he's under 10. So yeah. Zion is, was under six, now he's under sevens. Oh. Yeah. And uh, so he's out there doing – and he's he's out there doing it. You know what I mean? He has good mm. days, he has bad days, yes. you know. 
And uh, there's one little fella, yeah, not in his team, but the opposition, <laughs> regrettably, and uh, Romanian. That doesn't mean anything because Romanian. <laughs> but he has like two or three brothers who are all top players. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. So this kid can play. Wow. I mean, like, I think he scored five goals on Saturday. Oh, you know my what I mean? goodness. He can play. He should be playing under 10s. Oh, you know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> but uh, he's just great because of, just you know. But I said to Sai, man, you put Sophia up there. She'll be just. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's the thing. Cruz uses his hands. Like he, he got a, a soccer ball for his birthday and he's like trying to dribble it. I'm like, no, but. <laughs> Basketball. Yeah. You gotta use your feet. I don't think he's made for basketball. No, yeah. he's not Maybe tall so. enough. Or, yeah. yeah, all the things. Yeah. So, uh, but, but anyhow, yeah. you know, I, I know it's a controversial subject, and I don't mean to be uh, controversial in the area. But, but the fact of the matter is, everybody's ringing me. Yeah, you know oh what I mean. Goodness. But the fact of the matter is, is that you know this is something the parents are going to deal with, yeah. and yeah. you have to decide where God. And, and I don't mean to upset people. Oh, well. Okay, well, no, no. maybe I do. <laughs> well, uh, no. yeah, it's provocative. It's going to happen. Let's go to a different something story. Yeah, about. I was going to say, um, Sean, you said something a bit controversial, not controversial, interesting at a Sunday evening service. Yeah. yeah. I've actually got a clip of it, Ooh. and it actually did some pretty good numbers what on our social media. What do you call these media. clips that you take out of the service? Vertical, vertical shorts, I guess, like shorts, reels, reels. vertical clips. Yeah. I prefer the word real. Reels. When you say real. shorts, so, I'm thinking of pants. So. <laughs> So I've got this. I've got but this. I get the shorts. I've got this. Reel. Right, well, let's put it so up and let's see. Yeah. Have, a, have a listen. God is good to people who are bad. God is good to people who don't deserve it. God is good to people who you don't like. How did you feel when you watched them revel in the blessing? We take the promise of Psalm 23 that God will prepare a table for us in the presence of our enemies. Are we familiar with that one? Because we imagine ourselves as the one who is sitting at the table. But what if we're not the one sitting at the table? Wow. What if we're actually the enemy <laughs> watching them eat at the table? Wow. God prepares the table in the presence of our enemies, even when the enemy is us. So Moses is judged because he misrepresents God's attitude for his own. He wants to eat at the table and his enemies, the people to watch. But he's actually going to watch those who was an enemy reap the harvest of the water. He thinks that because he's angry, God's angry. If I'm angry at my child, God is angry at my child. If I'm angry at my pastor, God's angry at my pastor. If I'm angry at a congregant, God's angry at the congregant. You see, Moses wants God to be on his side. But God doesn't want to be on your side. God wants us to be on his side. Mm -hmm. And in yeah. order to do that, we're going to have to give up being our own gods. So Moses misrepresents God and he is God's representative. And Moses is angry because he has a hard place that is in a hard place. And that is why generational problems continue to occur over and over again because often our hardest place is our heart place. We seem to only go to church to campaign to get God on our side so we don't come to the altar to give up our perspective. When you come to church it's not to get God on your side it's to give up your perspective and to surrender to His will. Oh. Oof. Powerful words boss. Yes. Oof. Boss. Well, well yeah. It's so, controversial. So, so the <laughs> The whole context was I was preaching on Moses yeah. and about water of the rock. Yes. The first time God told Moses, he said, strike the rock, and yes. water came out. Mm, yeah. right. But the second time, he said, speak to the rock, and he yes. struck he it struck twice. It, yeah. Yeah. And as a result, God said, well, you know, you haven't obeyed me. You're not going into yeah. the promised land, yeah. and that's another story. But th the situation is, is that Moses got angry with the people. Mm. Mm, yeah. So when he got angry with the people, he couldn't hear God's instruction. Yeah. And, uh, wow. and then he acted impulsively. Yeah. And the whole idea is, is that we can be so angry. We can be angry for our kids, angry for parents, angry with the pet, whoever. But when we get angry, we can't hear clearly God's instruction. Yeah. And when we don't hear God's instruction, we respond in the emotion of the moment. Right. Mm. And... It goes all the way down because we all know Psalm 23. Yes. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Mm. And, uh, you know, he prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. And the whole idea is we like it when we're feasting and our enemies are watching. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. I'm chewing on this yeah, turkey leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you thought I wouldn't get it, but I got it. <laughs> but what if it's your enemy chewing on the turkey leg and you're the one sitting there going like, oh, man. Mm. And I have no doubt that all of us have had times when our enemies have feasted, mm. when we're the actual enemy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And that, that's why it's hard. And then when, we, when we're upset with somebody, what do we want? Revenge. No, we want God to be upset with oh, them too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like when someone leaves a church, they go like, and God, the Holy Spirit has now left the church. As if that when we um, leave, we take, take God with us. Yeah, yeah. I, I meet people all the time like, yeah. I'm going and therefore God has left. But, That's but it, shocking. Mm. Wow. Well, they might not say those words. Right, okay. Yeah. But they imply, imply it. Okay. it. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm going where the anointing is. I'm going yeah. where there's better. I'm going wherever. God's left okay. his church. Yeah, wow. and, and, and they're implying <laughs> that situation. And, mm. and the truth of the matter is, is that we are so hard trying to get God on our side, mm. but we're meant to be on God's side. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For God so loved, not just mm. the world, but God so loved the, the imperfect world. Mm. A world full of sin. Yeah. And Jesus died not only for you and I, but Jesus died for the people that we least like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And that's why in, in eternity we'll be surprised who's there. Yeah. 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 Right. And they might that's be true. surprised that we're there. <laughs> <laughs> you made it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> grace of God, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so but but that that's the whole idea. And I wonder how many times uh, we react in anger. Now, the great thing about Moses, because I hear people say, oh, well, you know, poor Moses, he never got to see the promised land. Mm. He what did if, that's from right. the distance. Yeah. Okay, but what about this? Mm. He did, but the eternal one. Yeah, a better promised land. Ooh. Yes. So he may well have seen the earthly promised land, yeah. but not tasted it. Mm. Mm. But he got to see and taste the eternal one. Mm. Yeah. And when push comes to shove, which is going to hold up? Mm. The eternal one. Yeah. yeah so what right. biblical point do we have to validate that he saw the eternal one? There's definitely one. I'm sorry. Uh, it's because I have, I have things that I want to say. So my ability to say, draw it, it to mind is, is the like. Mount Transfiguration. transfiguration. Oh, so yes, the Mount yes, Transfiguration yes, yes. of yes. Jesus. They were the witnesses. Yeah, yes. got it. That's right. Well, there's two. I got it. Elijah <laughs> and Moses. I'm like, it's yeah. there somewhere. <laughs> so. Here is celebration. Yeah. He's made it. Yeah. That's so you know, good. he's there with the Lord. Wow. And, and then you That's can still powerful. see that God mm-hmm. loves Moses because he sent the angel to stop the devil from discovering where the body of Moses was. Mm-hmm. Remember? Oh. So I yeah. don't know what, what was up about the devil wanting the body of Moses, but mm-hmm. you know, he hid the, the body of Moses. So, so we've got to remember that God doesn't move in the ways that we so randomly expect. Mm. So what were you going to say on the subject? Okay, my old boss wrote this book called Jesus versus the Bad Guys. Yeah. Mm. And the opening line is, do you know who the enemy is? Yeah. And so they were they referenced the Roman soldiers in Jesus' time, etc. Yeah. But then at the end of the book, they they the premise is Jesus doesn't use violence yeah. basically. He, they don't use those words. He uses love and forgiveness. Mm. And at the end it says, so we follow Jesus and use love and forgiveness to turn our enemies into friends. Mm. Those are great subjects, but you're kind of opening up to a new bracket. I know now. it is. Ooh. It that, is. So it was almost like it was a planned lead. It Ooh. wasn't on purpose. Ooh. No, but I'm that's not what saying. Came to mind. But yeah. I'm just saying it's, yeah. it's a great opening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ed, we're talking about uh, there was a story. What did you call it in the Huffington Post? Was it? Yes. Oh, yes. Ooh, good point. And uh, you just put up that headlines. Up yeah. There. Yeah. It was uh, an alarming report warns on the we greatest don't have to threat put it up. of okay, American democracy it. you've never heard of. Mm. Yeah, very scary. Do you have the headlines put up there? Uh, if you give me 10 seconds, I'll have it. Okay, well, nine, he does that. Eight, seven, I did six. think of something else too, because very often we take the approach that we're feasting in front of our enemies. But I love the perspective. I, I heard it said recently, we always look at like David versus Goliath and we're the heroes. But mm. it's like, actually, we were probably the scared soldiers in the back and Jesus is the hero. So I like that different yeah. perspective of like, we're not always the good guy or got the, a yeah. boss. No, that, you know, I agree with you. So the, put it back up, son. So it <laughs> says a alarming report. I was reading this this morning. Mm. Warns. So obviously this is done by the Democrats. Yeah, the very left wing. Yeah. yeah. 
alarming report warns of greatest threat to American democracy you've never heard of. Yeah. And it goes on to share about Christians. Yeah, yeah Christians. New Apostolic a growing, Reformation. A growing, Go ahead, Erica. A growing Christian supremacist movement that labels its perceived enemies as demonic and enjoys close ties to major Republican figures. Mm. Interesting. It's the greatest threat to American democracy. <laughs> You've never heard of it. Yeah. Wow. That's very strong, so, strong language. So here again is where the world uh, mm. tries to use certain Christian oh. Oh. language or cliches, yeah. like saying labels as demonic or whatever else. Mm. So, you know, it, it's true. I mean, I saw a picture posted on an American's um, text uh, and uh, it was a cartoon of Biden, <laughs> and he's speaking to the devil. Oh. Yeah. You know what? And Biden says, am I doing good? Oh. And the, the devil goes, yes, President Biden, you're doing good, <laughs> meaning against something else. And because it's a Christian group. And yeah. I am generally concerned. It is concerning. Um, like with that book, I agree with that book through mm. peace and forgiveness and, and love. forgiveness. Yeah. Mm. Whereas there is a militant group. Mm. Mm. So the old times we used to talk about the militant Christians as those groups that lived out in Michigan <laughs> <laughs> with their guns and the land and whatever. Yes. But today there's a militant group in existence. Mm. I even saw, uh, I was just, you know, how, what does my daughter in love say? Um, you're sp spying on Facebook. Facebook stalking. What do you call it? Facebook stalking. Facebook stalking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My daughter in love says, "Dad, are you Facebook stalking?" Yeah. I said, "I'm just looking on their page." <laughs> you know what I mean? And as I was looking up someone, yes. And uh, I I looked up on the area. They're Australians mm. in. New York. So they don't they don't live in America, yeah. but they're visiting. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So it's an Australian woman. Yes. Who is visiting somebody in New York? Okay. Mm. <clears throat> and I don't know how I got their name. It wasn't literally typed in their name, but their name comes. Uh, yeah. And on their, you know, when you go on their front page, that the first thing you see when you go on their name, like. If, like on mine would be a picture of Sandra and I. There's is Trump all the way or something, you know, about Trump. And I'm going. Wow. And, and you know, if you were not a Trump supporter, it'd bring offense. But this, this particular person, is an agitator. Uh, like over here would be yes. Pauline Hanson yeah, all the way. Yeah, you Pauline, know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, or Green. And if there's a rebel Christian, go all the way. You know, there, there. So whoever that rebel Christian is, right? Yeah. And uh, so when they thought I was a bit of a rebel, they liked me. But that was many decades ago. Now, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm probably the devil. On Different the kind of controversial. <laughs> but here I see this Australian. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, this is the problem today. And I've seen it so much is that, uh, American culture is so mm. prominent. Mm. Bleeding into the culture, eh? Well, it used to be we talk about American music, yeah. uh, American movies. Yeah. Um, books. Uh, books. But it's gone, or American clothes, yeah, like clothes. the, you know, Levi jeans. Uh, and everything Nikes. Else. But now yeah. it's even American politics. Yeah, yeah. And it's where if there are certain Christians in Australia who you swear were going to be voting in the November election. Now, you will be because you're, you're American. Yeah. But you swear they're going to be yeah, voting valid. in the American elections. And yeah. why would an Australian mm. be putting on the theme picture on their Facebook page, <laughs> Trump something, I forget what it was. 2024, something like that. Huh? So, yeah, well, it was, um, I'll look it up, but I don't want to show you. Does that make sense? While you look it up. Yeah. I'll be... Um, I'll do my con controversial bit uh -oh. on this whole thing. Uh oh, just to clarify. Uh oh, and maybe like there's other extremes, but to be a Republican doesn't mean you're a Christian. Yeah, it's true. It's on your identity. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like there are Democratic Christians out there too. Just yeah. Say yeah. I just can I be controversial? Yes. Yeah. Let's hear it. I just I'm sending you this picture, Ed. Okay. But it's through Messenger, so you can post oh, it up. Yes. Okay. This is. I just got off of this person's um, uh, Facebook page, but you won't know who the person is. Well, okay. you will because you saw it. Oh, no, I didn't. I won't okay. look for so, their sake. Uh, so I don't want to.
get that caught up because that's not my idea right now. But the the fact of the matter is, is um, I'm actually stalling right now, trying to find a. While you're stalling, yes. I do have something to say. Yes, yes. but it's going to change the subject, so I'll oh. wait. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> so going back you're to right. the, so it, the the fact of the matter is, is that. Why are we embracing this revolution? Now, you say, well, Democrat, that they get. Now, I've got to be frank with you, and this is going to sound terrible, and I apologize. Can you be Sean with us? Maybe not Frank? Yeah. (laughs) 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 That's quite frank. Okay. (laughs) I don't know how you could be a Christian and be a Democrat. Mm. I'm saying, I don't know how you could be a Christian and Mm. be a a Labour member. And Mm. I've said this to people of the art. Okay. And I said, because. Of abortion, yes, because abortion is really a big thing for me. Yeah, abortion, uh, the homosexuality, uh, the other yeah, areas. LGBT. I don't know how I can do that. Mm. So, for example, I know a politician who's a close friend of mine, and there was a political change here in Australia, and they supported uh, the leader of the Conservatives, who has nothing to do with my Christian values. They mm. they support abortion and everything else. They go, yeah. So I said to this person. I will not be voting for you the next election. Mm. Not because I don't believe in you, but a vote for you is a vote for this person. Now, he still won without my vote. My vote made a difference. And then later on, I changed it. You sent me back a photo? Well, I had to actually get up on the screen. So to do that, I got to send it to you on Facebook Messenger. So here's the, here's the photo. Yeah, so this is an Australian has this on their Facebook page. <laughs> the people have been hard in the soul of America. It's so confusing to me. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I mean, this is this is Australians who can't tell the difference. It's like I've had debates, mm. and they've said, and this is people who aren't Christians. They go, uh, separation of church and state, <laughs> and they're Australians. This is Australian. I've had media interviews. Yeah, and I said, what? I don't mean to be rude, but are you stupid? Mm, <laughs> that's I mean, true. that's, that's American. American. It's America. Yeah. And our constitution is based on the Westminster system, where the church. Of England, which yeah. is a church, is a part of the system. They, yeah. They're in the area. They weren't separate. They weren't you know separate, I mean? yeah. And, uh, you know, it's in our constitution. Yeah. I can read you to it, but where they part of it, you know, yeah. where it's promoting uh, churches in there, whatever they do. Yeah. So, but we quote American terminology. Yes. Like, I've also heard them, you know, the Fifth Amendment, you know what I mean? Oh, the yeah. right to defend us or whatever I say. Oh, not the Fifth Amendment. Was Second, it? Second, Second Amendment. amendment. Yeah. Yeah. The right Fifth Amendment is to keep quiet, okay? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I wish it, maybe I should have quoted it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 plead the Fifth, yeah. But uh, the Second Amendment, you know, I have a right to defend myself. I go, Bear arms. You're not an American. Yeah, that's And it. that goes back to the Revolutionary War, you know? So, but I still meet people when they talk about gun control over here. Yeah, like freedom of speech. Oh, First Amendment, freedom of speech. We have freedom. Of, we do not have the same freedom of speech. How many as what amendments Americans do have. we know versus our own? Our own constitution. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's we true. have amended the constitution to put this in. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so you were talking about Australian culture, no American culture infiltrating Australia. Yeah. Mm. So I'll give you the other Australian, Australian culture infiltrating America. Oh. Do you want to know how? Oh, I'd love it. I'd love yeah, it. Okay, Through Bluey. Oh. The Cartoon. Oh. Listen to this. This girl is doing the best leads I've ever known. <laughs> what the heck? Full okay. 150 episode library draws an average of 1.19 billion minutes of viewing per week on D- on Disney in America. Wow. And here is the bluey one dollar coin. Is this the same kind go. of coin thing you were telling us yes. about. The Australian Mint has just they released. released bluey yeah. one dollar coins, three different versions. Yeah, and and you. Entered. I entered a ballot in order to win to pay for them. Yeah, so you weren't going to get it for nothing, but just so you could. Pay no, no, for you one. can't get it for nothing. You have to actually. But anyways, I won the bluey one, and I won the grannies one, which mm. is another one. So they're cool, and yeah. the mint people said that they did that this as to get kids into attention. Uh, uh, on to collect them, collecting right? coins. Yeah. Well, yeah. how does that coins. work? Because we're, the bank wants us to be cashless. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah. I don't know. That's yeah, weird. I don't know. It's weird. It's eh? weird. The, uh, huh? I yeah, think the NWO. I let me ask you this. Yeah. To to trade this is one dollar. Yeah. And I <laughs> how much do you have to pay for it? Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and we wonder why the mint's doing it. <laughs> well, we want to train the kids. Good way to make yeah. money. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're trying to tell they them want how to, to just make money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you paid forty bucks for two coins. Yep, I did. Yeah. We uh, won't talk about the shipping costs. But you, have you noticed how? A lot of the children's programs are having controversy in them. 
Yeah. Yeah. So like Peppa Pig. Oh. No, I'm, I'm innocent. I don't know anything about it. But I heard one mother say to me, oh, no, we don't do Peppa Pig anymore because it was going into the gay areas. And also another one. Rachel. No. Coco yes. Melon. Rachel. Oh. You know that talking lady, Rachel? She has someone who. She's on YouTube called Rachel. Yes, so Miss Rachel is one of our babysitters. Yeah. So Miss Rachel. Okay. But they don't, they're not, they, they don't teach about it. Whereas yes, so she was teaching on the area about not supporting Israel, but Hamas an area, <laughs> and it caused a big uh, thing. Oh, the but, kids they, show. but they weren't teaching that to the kids. What? It was on her program. Oh, my goodness. That's okay, bad. I'm going to have to research that because so that it, caught it me had, off guard. It had to do with saying wow. we're going to be thinking of praying for Hamas, but there was no mention okay, of Okay, I'm going to go research that. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying don't watch it. And the other one is let's talk about Bluey. Oh, Bluey oh, wait. controversy. We just a story for you on Bluey. Is there is there controversy there? Well, I don't think so, but I want to tell this story. Okay, tell me. Okay, can we put that up there? So I do have a. a There's a story. So I have. Yes. I've, I found a clip. Ex- I had to. That's a secret one I was doing for you. Yeah, I've got. Mind to... you, the bubblehead wins, but yeah. I'm yes. I do have a clip explaining the whole controversy. I, I couldn't find the actual. Is it episode. the controversy between Australia and America? Because there are no, controversies no, no. there no. too. Right. Yeah, so check okay. out this. Check out Walt this clip. Disney banned one particular yes. fruit. I know a few of them. In the episode where Banda is pregnant and actually gives birth called Dad Baby. Here we can see Banda giving birth to Bingo in the pool while Pat and Bluey help. And with Lucky watching in the background, eventually he gives birth to Bingo and names her Chili. I'm going to call you Chili. This episode is actually banned in the US because of Banda giving birth and both Bluey and Pat putting their hands up in Banda's belly. However, you can now watch the full episode on YouTube. Yeah. So did you know? Th- Which I couldn't find. Okay, so like, if you, <laughs> if you, no, you, you can't access it in Australia. Oh. They release things specifically in the USA for no, free. No, Disney banned it in America. Right, but you but, can access uh, it for free on YouTube, YouTube but America only YouTube. in USA. Yeah, America so YouTube. So it is banned from Disney, but Bluey official YouTube released it for free for people to access in the USA. Oh, because Disney because banned Disney it. Because Disney banned yeah. it. Yeah. So there's a few of those. So, so let me get this right. Disney has a morality clause. Yes. Because the, the things other, it's been bringing out has got nothing to but, do with morality. Okay, there's two things. I can, if I can say, I've seen the episode. Yeah. <gasps> it's actually entirely in- innocent. Yeah. yeah. I'm not against the show. I'm just telling you. About it's the like literally show. just like them Explaining. pretending and yeah. it's funny it's so funny but but another controversy so why did they ban it because of the dad having a baby i guess Which but but disney's banning it doesn't isn't disney pro i don't know, yeah, I don't know. so stuff. do you want to hear the other yeah. controversy yeah they banned the one where bingo's dad banned it calls bingo or the kids a dingleberry what? Because because of what it it's dried poop, right? Like that's what uh, technically a dingleberry is. But they banned that word and did a voiceover for a different word in the states because it was so like extreme or something. I don't know. I, I gotta so confess confused. you, I've never used the word dingleberry in all my. Yeah, life. I mean, I don't too. either. But I it's didn't a even show know about, what a dingleberry yeah, was. It's a show about dogs. That's part of the humor. Is like it's a dingleberry because they're dogs, right? Dog poo? Anyways, is that the joke? Yeah. I don't know. See, you're into the bluey. So I am. I, I'm I, a fake, I know nothing about I'm in my bluey, bluey mom era, yeah. as yeah. they say. I, I don't know. Okay, I, thank you. I was, last yeah. Friday, I picked up the kids from school. Yeah. The grandkids. Yeah. And I drove through Mickey D. Yeah. <laughs> Mecca's. And uh, get the little kids meal, free nuggets, little chips, you know what I mean? <laughs> and they got any toys. They got a little soft toy. So I got the toy and and free thing onto it. But then when mom saw the toy... Mum said, oh, we don't let them have this toy because this particular soft toy has other whatever connections. Oh. So I said, oh. Was it Hello Kitty or was it Yu-Gi-Oh? Because those are the Yu-Gi-Oh. two. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh is, a bit do- is dodgy. I'm yeah. sorry. I, yeah, I yeah, don't know. I'm, I agree. I, I just, don't even know. What, I'm not saying I don't agree. I don't yeah. even know what a Yu-Gi-Oh Yu-Gi- is. It's kind of like Pokemon, but I, I don't know. I haven't personally watched yeah. I can't vouch for it. I'll have to ask Andres on that yeah, one. Yeah, it's like cards. It's a card game, but the cards are... Like demons or something like that. It's, okay. so it's, it's, I think it's something like that. It sounds like Dungeons and Dragons. I'll have to look it yeah, up. Yeah, but it's more like demonic. Kind it's of okay. Of I mean, yeah. so we'll I put it this way. When Andres was, was growing up, up when Andres was growing up, they burnt all of the Pokemon things that they had because of an evangelist that came to town. And now he regrets it because it'd be worth like they so much money nowadays. Money. <laughs> they had a burning ceremony yeah. and everything. Was it at our church? No, okay. at the Spanish church. <laughs> oh, praise God. <laughs> <laughs> when, when when I remember as a, <laughs> I was just a new youth pastor, yeah. that the children's pastor preached and said, we got to burn all the Cabbage Patch kids. It was demonic. What? 
What? I mean, like, have you ever seen a Furby? Those things are terrible. Oh, yeah, those things are demonic. 100% <laughs> burn them, 100%. As a Christian, we weren't allowed to have playing cards. What? Because the Joker was the devil and the oh, other I mean, things. You also area. didn't have drums and stuff too, right? No, I had drums. You did? Yeah, okay, yeah. just yeah, no The pastor cards. was oh. great. We didn't follow David Wilkerson. Okay, so <laughs> David Wilkerson says <laughs> drums of the devil, Russ. Well, they've got there, but anyhow, oh, well. Dallas Holmes would, couldn't do this. So, so you didn't just have a plain deck of cards. You weren't. It was classified as being demonic. What? The pictures or the Joker or something. So yeah. just just because of that one card that you could take out of the deck. Oh, it was... Well, I'm sure they had other things to deal with it, but I'm saying it was to do with those wow. cards. I'm just telling you when but you go. But here's up, good dang. advice if you want. If so we played, you know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the the plush toys, I just give them to my dog and she just rips them up. It's great. Yeah, there we go. There <laughs> if you don't go. like you, you know, just, into, just give them to Pippa. I got two in the <laughs> car, I'll give you. There you go. My dog loves it. Actually, yeah. You little demon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did. Okay, here we go. Christians and politics again. Yeah, here okay. we go. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so so because of Mr. Trump, there is he has his own posse of Christians. Yeah. I mean, I've said this before. I'm not voting. I'm not an American. Yes. If I had to choose to vote between Mr. President Biden and President Trump, I would obviously close my eyes and pinch my nose and vote for Trump. Yeah. Okay. It'd like be how like you this. take medicine <laughs> so you don't taste it. We'll <laughs> see. And I'm sorry for my American friends who adore him and that Australian. Okay. Yeah. I said I would. Okay. I just can't believe a country of 350 million, they got these two round 80 year old guys. That's all they can get. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm trying to say? Ugh. And um, I mean, you got Trump just come out of court cases. Oh, yeah. Which I agree yeah. were stupidly charged, mm. but he still did do these things. Yeah, <laughs> he's still seeing prostitutes. He's still paying them off. He's still a misogynist. <laughs> yeah. But you'd swear Christian figure was made up. But then you got Hunter. He's on trial. Yeah. Who's the son of Biden. Mm hmm. For getting a gun when he's addicted to cocaine and doing things, and he says no, but they got to give it. You got two, two, and of course, the conservatives are saying Trump's innocent, shouldn't be touched, and then the Democrats are saying, but Hunter and his dad, they just so, so this love it to come yeah. pick on the family yeah, like this. I'm like, oh, I just want to turn them both off. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? To say, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to be controversial. George Bush, I miss you. <laughs> I like George. George W. Yeah. I know he was controversial as I went, but I liked him, so whatever. Mm. So it comes. But this is the way life goes. And we'll see how it goes in four years' time. Yeah, it's true. Well, I want to see what happens in November. I know, November. but I just mean we'll have different choices then. That's what I mean. Yeah, what post-Biden-Trump yeah. post, post Biden Trump 2024? Yeah. Well, yeah. I... I you know, not that I mean. No, I get the, you. Who will be running? Yeah, you know, the outcome I get matters, it. obviously. Well, if if Donald doesn't win, does he try again? Oh man, he'd be so old. <sighs> no, be eighty. The crazy yeah, thing is that he's allowed to. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm but saying. But then he keeps wrecking it for other candidates. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, Hallie didn't listen to my advice. Okay, so that's, that's all true. We did cover that last week. All right, we got to finish. <laughs> I know we got to finish off. Yeah. Do you want to end on the octopus, Sean? Oh, yes. So yes. check this out, Erica. Okay. This, Look this, at this. Check this out. World's Whoa. biggest octopus. This came on this the Whoa. coast of Indonesia. Yeah, check this out. This is totally 100% real. That is very big. So Do you actually real? believe that could be real? Is it real? Ed and I looked at it and said, that can't be real. I thought it was real when Sean showed me, I but um, we like then scanned the article and it's fake. Thank God. Oh my. Thank God this is fake. This is too intense. Someone posted about this image first on Twitter from... Oh, Formerly known as Twitter, um, X, X. it's X now. Does it have a new name? Well, yeah, I'm it's so called X behind. now. Sorry, X. Uh, so okay. a giant octopus was discovered off the coast of Bali, Indonesia, and that's what everyone uh, thought. But then I think Shopes, Snopes, Snoops did an investigation and discovered it was AI. Thank God this is AI and not have a you real got a thing. copy of the real picture. Yeah. Oh, oh, the real picture was inside of some kind of. Um, like a, a reel, like an Instagram reel. Yeah. That's where the original image was from, and I couldn't no, download it. No, the size of the octopus in reality. Well, this is fake. This is a fake one. Yeah, but how big is he really? Like this big? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's it's fake, so I don't. I, no, right. Yeah, I don't know, boss. That's flat. But anyway, yeah. yeah. So you never know what you can see as being real. Yeah, exactly. Because that 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 did get me when you showed me. I thought that was real. Wow, like, oh, that's here we go. Terrifying, but yeah. it's true. All right, we're gonna finish off now because time is gone. Boy, we yeah. had so much to talk about. Oof. Erica, thank you for passing me wisdom. Join me. Join me. We might Let sneak you back you. in again. Yes. So. Yeah. We'll see how we go. Yes. 
I know people. Okay. <laughs> so you're yeah, the boss. You're passing, you're wisdom. Not a boss right? passing wisdom. Passing wisdom. Sorry that I was so um, passionate about Bluey. But <laughs> in a world where there's lots of voices out there, that's one of the better cartoons. Yeah, sure. That's yeah, okay. Just, and, and if you didn't know, Bluey's a girl. I miss Veggie Tales. I have I have a lot of DVDs of Veggie Tales. Yeah, but they're on TV. God so, is uh, bigger than the boogeyman. Oh, Veggie Tales. That's, right. that's probably Godzilla when you were growing up. That one. On TV. Uh, okay, okay, I, I never all. actually watched Thank those. you. Thanks. Ed, anything wise to tell me? Sean, did you know that if you spend 20 minutes on the toilet at work every day, at the end of the year, that's two weeks wages for free? Right. Is that your strategy? Can you remind me? I need to deduct <laughs> him two weeks' wages. Okay. That comes out of your annual yeah. leave, Ed. He's just made a confession. Okay. Confession. Okay. We're dropping your annual four weeks' leave to two weeks. You've already spent it. Okay. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget, this Sunday is Ross Winchester yes. at our 8 a.m. and 9.30, and we will be live streaming at 9.30. At our 5 p.m., we have Josiah sharing a great word. At 4.30 p.m., we have prayer yes. and the men's breakfast is on this Saturday at 7 a.m. Yes. God bless you. Bless Have a you. great day. Thank you.